Okay guys, so I thought we'd start from the lock screen as that's the first thing that you're gonna see really when you've got Lollipop on your device. So once you go to the lock screen, you've got a couple of different options here. Now, you used to have access to the camera straight from the lock screen and that is still there. If you just swipe in from the right hand side, you can see you get a nice animation down the bottom here to get the camera into view. If you swipe from the other side, left hand side in, you get quick access to the dialer. So if you do need to make a phone call really quickly, then you've got the option to do so, which is definitely really nice. Now you can also swipe down to get straight into your quick settings or your notifications if you've got any. And that's definitely a great thing as you can turn on or off things like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth straight from the lock screen, which you haven't been able to do previously. To actually unlock the device, all you need to do is swipe up. And again, you get a really nice animation, which then takes you into your home screen as you can see here. Android Lollipop is probably the biggest overhaul of Android since the change to Ice Cream Sandwich from previous generations of Android like Gingerbread and Froyo. And what I mean by that is it's mainly a visual overhaul. Now there are some new features which we're going to touch on this video, but the main thing about Lollipop is the material design. Everything has a place and comes and goes to a certain place. Now a great example of that is the app drawer. So if I tap on the app drawer icon, you can see that it comes up from the actual icon itself and even going between pages you can see that they are on Google now like cards and again it going back to the home button everything shrinks back down into the app drawer icon and you also get a similar effect with the folders by opening and closing folders you can see that they do actually have a place and then they go back to the actual icon itself Google now also has a really nice transition if you swipe over to Google now and you've also now got the access to your settings for reminders to customize your Google now experience and also settings and feedback so again it's a really nice transition here to go from page to page and everything you do within Android lollipop just looks and feels really nice now we'll see they made a big deal at the press for lollipop that it was going to be 60 frames per second with all the transitions now on something like a nexus 5 you may not be reaching that 60 frames per second but if i just navigate around the os you can see just exactly how quick everything is and it is very fluid something like the nexus 5 with a better processor and a little bit more ram is also going to perform a little bit better with lollipop but overall there's been no lag whatsoever pretty much on my nexus 5. A great new addition to Lollipop are the quick settings. So if you swipe down just once, it takes you to your notifications. And if you swipe down again, it takes you into your quick settings. Now you can also do that with a two finger swipe down like you did with previous versions of Android. And once you are in this page, you've got access to quite a lot of things. Now a lot of people have been asking why certain settings show and why certain settings don't. And that's pretty much dependent on what you use on your device. Now for me, I use my hotspot, Wi-Fi settings, Bluetooth, etc. On a regular basis and what happens is if you don't use things for a certain period of time they disappear from your quick settings until you then start using them again so unlike something like a Samsung Galaxy S5 with TouchWiz it doesn't have every single setting within your quick settings I definitely do appreciate that as the only things that you're going to find is things that you're actually going to be wanting to use Unlike previous versions of Android, you can actually do a couple of things with the quick settings. So for instance, with Bluetooth, I can turn it off or I can turn it on, or I can actually just tap on the name underneath where it says Bluetooth, which will then take me into the actual settings within the settings application to get a bit more information. So if I did want to add or take away any devices, go into the settings and things like that, you've got the option to do so straight from the quick settings, which is definitely a nice feature. And it's just slightly less clicks than what you're normally used to. You've also got access in here for battery. So again, you can click on the battery icon which will take you to your remaining battery on your device and you've also got access to things like your alarm the time the brightness settings as well now a lot of people are making a big deal about the brightness where if you use the brightness slider up and down it actually gets rid of the background now, as far as i'm aware that was actually in kitkat uh, correct me if i'm wrong but as far as i'm aware that kind of animation was in kitkat now you've also got access as well to the profiles. So in here you've got yourself and you can also add a guest as well with their own space. And you've also got access to more settings and also done. So if you did want to change any of the profiles, that's where you're going to be doing it. 
You've also got quick access to your settings as well. And you can see that it's been completely redesigned. And again, you've got different cards. So you've got things like system, personal, you've got device, and also wireless and networks. And again, you've got a real nice shadow animation that actually follows where your finger goes. And again, just looks really nice. And you've also got access to the search as well. Now, for some reason, it doesn't search everything. So if I did want to find, for instance, the brightness, which I know is in display, if I click on the search icon and start typing in brightness, you can see that nothing comes up. So it does depend on what you're trying to look for. Certain things do show and certain things don't. So it's not necessarily the best search feature, but if you do know what you're looking for and you know that you can search for it, then it may be easier than actually going through the settings themselves. Now, as mentioned before, there's not a whole bunch of new features that are within Lollipop. Now, there are some new things. For instance, if you go down to security, you've got things like trusted devices. So if I change my screen lock to a pin and just put in a generic number for now, you can see then it's going to give you the option for what notifications you want to show and it also gives you options for smart lock. Now what you have in here is basically trusted devices or trusted places. So if you've got a Bluetooth compatible watch, for instance the LG G watch for instance, you can use that to unlock your phone without having to put in the pin number and if you're away from your watch then you will have to enter the pin. And you've also got trusted faces and also places as well. So if you did want to use your address so that when you are at home you don't need to enter your pin number but when you are out and about for security it brings up the pin number straight away then again you've got the option to do so within there everything else pretty much within the settings and the security is pretty much the same as you can see here and there's already a whole bunch more device settings you've also got some new options for battery as well so if you go down into the battery options and then click on the settings at the top right you've now got a battery saver option now what this allows you to do is to improve battery life now what this is meant to do is give you an extra 90 minutes on a charge so once you get down to say 15 or 5 percent on your device and you turn on battery saver then it is then going to give you some extra juice for the day now one thing that i would say is it does give an effect which i'm not necessarily a fan of where it puts the status bar and also the navigation bar to bright orange i would have maybe just liked the icon in the top left hand corner which they've done maybe without the actual colors here changing as i am a fan of just having the transparent bars You've also got another part here in the settings where you can add or take away users. So if you do want to have a guest, as I mentioned previously, then you've got the option to do so. And to be honest, that is the majority of the changes within Lollipop. Like I say, it's more of a visual overhaul than anything, and it does look and feel completely different. Now I'm using it on the Nexus 5, and to be honest, it makes me feel like I've got a brand new device just by having the operating system change slightly. So I think the main thing to take away from Lollipop is it's more of a visual overhaul. Your phone isn't going to drastically get better overnight, although the animations and things do look really nice. Now one thing that I would say is there are a lot of animations within Lollipop, but unlike some like iOS 8 it doesn't necessarily hinder the experience going into your app drawer or just going into your quick notifications and things it's really fluent and very nice and doesn't really slow down the actual device itself my favorite feature probably about lollipop is the fact that if you go into your quick settings and then go down you can see that the settings cog does kind of slide in and out with a really nice effect and also when you put your device to sleep you do actually get a black and white effect before it fully turns itself off so it's just little things like that that i think really improve the experience and overall just makes me really enjoy having a nexus 5 again now obviously as you know i did switch over to the lg g3 for a period of time but i wasn't necessarily a fan of the skin that lg puts over the top it wasn't the worst out there but it by far wasn't the best and i love having stock android again on my nexus 5 so overall guys lollipop is rolling out quite slowly to devices i've only just recently got it on my nexus 5 a week after it was released and on my nexus 7 2013 i still don't have it so hopefully that will be coming just around the corner i'm michael from copper versus glass this has been a quick look at android lollipop and i will catch you guys in the next video